Hello everyone, welcome to Rubrotech Tutorials and in this chapter 9 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Kalma, we are going to look at change detection and objective of this video is how to perform change detection during unit testing of your application. Now, in this video, we are going to reuse the employee component that we had used in the previous video to demonstrate the change detection and the employee component consists of a variable salary slip it is a soft type string and it also injects authentication service this authentication service contains two methods one is authenticate which will help us to set a user in the local storage using the local storage dot set item and there is another method check authentication this will help us to check whether this local storage dot get item of user is equal to the given username these two method will help us during our testing of the application now coming back to employee component.ts here i have added a method that will help me to get the salary slip and in this work i have checked whether the user has authenticated successfully if the user has authenticated successfully it is going to return me the salary slip and if the user does not authenticate it is going to return me this dot cell slip is equal to not authenticated now coming to employee component dot html here i have added a button which will call the get salary slip and in this one it is going to display the salary slip that is the string within this h1 element so if the user is authenticated it will show me salary slip if the user is not authenticated it will show me not authenticated and along with employee component.ts and html file we have a pec file and this is a auto generated file and in this file i have added an object of authentication service that is auth service and in the test bed i have also added providers for authentication service and here i am going to add another variable now here i have added an html element h1 this h1 element will be helping us to get the value or the text content present within this h1 element of employee component.html and this can be done using the fixture now here i am going to assign the h1 element present in the employee component.html to the h1 variable that we have created in the spec file of employee component.spec.ts and here i'm going to assign the variable h1 this is the html element variable that we had created earlier equal to fixture dot native element dot now this fixture dot native element dot query selector of h1 this will help us to get or to create the instance of the h1 element that is present in employee component.html after that there are two test cases one is auto generated when the component is created and another that i have created and in this one we are going to check the content of h1 is equal to the variable that is present in employee component.ts salary slip so in this one we are going to check whether this salary slip has been added within the h1 element of employee component.html so in order to update the value of cell slip variable within the h1 element we have to execute the get salary slip method present in employee component.ts so in this one i'm going to execute that method component dot get salary slip so this will update the value of cell slip variable once the value is updated we have to make sure or we have to assert that that particular value is equal to the text content of h1 element so in this one we need to write once this component dot get salary slip is executed the cell slip variable value will be updated and it should be reflected in the h1 component now when we are running the angular application it will be executed automatically 
Now in this case, I'm going to execute the ng test and see what happens to our unit test case written here. Now here you can see our test case has executed using the ng test successfully and one of the test case has failed and one is successful. Now let's see it on the browser. So on the browser, you can see should assert value for h1 element to be value of component.sazlib. So this is our test case that has failed and it is expecting blank value to be equal to salary slip now in this case we did execute the get salary slip method but that same value is not updated this is because we executed the method using test bit and not as a regular angular application execution if we had executed it as the angular application whenever we are executing this salary slip method sal slip variable is updated and that value is updated in the view that is our h1 element in the html file but here it has not happened whenever we are running an angular application angular application runs a change detection cycle so whenever the value of a variable or a property of a class is updated at the same time the view is updated as well that is the dom elements are updated but the test bed does not execute or have any change detection mechanism so in order to make sure that the change has been updated to the dom elements of the fixture as well we have to manually run a change detection now that can be done using So whenever we are using fixture dot detect changes, it will execute a change detection cycle and update the DOM elements present in the HTML file as well. Now, before adding this change detection, that is fixture dot detect changes method, one of our test case has failed and one was successful. So this test case was successful as the instance was created without any issue, and this test case where we were expecting the text content of h1 element to be salary slip has failed now after running fixture dot detect changes let's see what happens so i'm going to save this one now here you can see both the test cases has been executed successfully that means the content of h1 element present in the html file that is h1 dot text content is to be component dot salary slip that means the salary slip is equal to the con text content of h1 text content now let's see it on the browser so here you can see both the test cases have been executed successfully now here we have tested that the view of our component that is the html of our component is updated and we have tested it using fixture dot detect changes so that is we have tested whether the view was updated or not when the salary slip that is the property of the class was updated and that is possible only because we have used or we have manually executed the change detection using fixture dot detect changes this is how we can use the change detection for our unit testing i hope you have understood this topic if you do please provide us comments and do subscribe thank you